Okay. Out of Cicada's uh, township contributing anything to that project. Okay. Why couldn't the same thing be done at Union Township? Because the leaders of Union Township agreed that they would plan B was the right thing for Union Township. You said plan B. Yeah. Now you're saying they said plan one. Well, no, uh, the, 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 plan so one was never mentioned. In the plan program. one was the grinder pump. Right. And what Union Township leadership negotiated and agreed to in front of the judge, as documented in this agreement, is that they agreed that they would use a list system. This is still in litigation, am I correct? No, it's not. It's a, it's a meet. The, medi the litigation is resolved. It's in a mediation agreement. The, the, the mediation is intended to resolve the litigation. One party's already voted on it. We're going to vote on it here. If we pass it, then the litigation will be over. Yes, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Brown. Uh, I'd like to flip that around with your point of this project, uh, uh, option one, being ready. I'll throw that back on everybody. We have a list somewhere of Shovel ready projects that we've been talking about for two years since I've been on the board. Can we build Alrama Road? It's not on it. <coughs> so my question is, even after all of this, why does that project jump to the top of the list when we have other shovel ready projects, probably with better cost benefit metrics to serve other citizens? Why does this one jump to the list? I'll explain it to you when you're done. Because you have a situation where you've got raw sewage running down the road. Uh, I I will bet right you there, 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 there are no. probably hold on, hold on. 10... Hold on. hold on. One person at a time. Mr. Glenn, and I'm right there are probably 10 other situations in the watershed where there is sewage. And again, I ask why does this have to jump to the top of the list? When I've been asking for 15 months for a proposal on Finleyville Alrama Road that outlines a lot of these issues, and it took till mediation to get it. Henry, I was at the meeting. I was on the board at the time. Mr. Barna came down there and some of the citizens, and they said that project was shovel-ready 12 years ago. They were told by the... the Sewer Authority and Union Township that they would have sewers. Okay? It's not that it's setting a precedent. I mean, how long are you going to wait? It is going to go on our spreadsheet. And it's going to benefit Peters Township. I'm sorry? Which one? I'm confused. Which one are you talking about? What are you talking about, Peters no. Township? We're only thinking about well, I'm, I'm, Peters I'm Township, talking uh, about the list of shovel ready projects that we money? reviewed several months ago. Yeah, so it's an Excel spreadsheet. There's a priority. A priority list. Is Finleyville or Rama on that list? Not okay, right. no. Okay, so with all due respect to what happened with that gentleman you said that I don't recognize, and 12 years ago, and whatever, I still stay on the project's not on the list. And I have exception to bring it to the top. Just because that's what Union Township wants. Thank you, Mr. I have a, a, a simple question. So when we were in mediation and, you know, we would have a room where we talked and there was the mediator, which was Tom Breland, which he's an attorney, and then he would talk to us and then he would go to Union Township and he would talk to them. Like, that's how it was set up. So at the end, it was all settled that, which happens to be option number two, that that's what both rooms agreed upon. So I was there, so I know that that's exactly what happened. So my question is, so now it seems as if um, there's confusion about option one and option two and the reading of this, which is a summary of what happened that day. Am I right on that? Mm -hmm. Just speaking in total generic terms. So can we ask Mr. Vreeland to talk to both sides about what was agreed upon? And maybe he can alleviate the confusion between both sides. I, I think it should have been done, have been done years ago. Yeah, Chrissy, I, I think we would better we'd be better off going to Judge Lucas. Judge Mr. Brennan is a very good lawyer, but he doesn't have any power over anybody. Okay. And uh, I think we need I think we need the authority of the judge. It's, it's, uh, and Mr. Brennan and, and the judge may say. 
they bring Mr. Breland to get involved, and that's right. his office. But I think we got We have to go right to the judge because Mr. Breland doesn't have any power to rely on anybody. Right. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So to follow up on what you said there, Nicole, a question I think Mr. Breland or the public had asked if our colleague from Union Township were in the in the final in the final board thing. Right. The answer is no. No, but we they were part of the meetings that were conducted where the terms were agreed to. Mr. Breland went here. They agreed to the terms. Right. Or they agreed to the terms, and it was just a matter. And then we met in the middle, and yeah. and this is what they came up with. Well, before I went into court to dictate to listen to the settlement, I I told my group my understanding of the settlement, and then the judge called us in and made a made Mr. Breland put it on the record and asked the lawyers if they had any comments or if they agreed. So we understood the settlement. I think 100 percent when when the judge called us in there. Yeah, Mr. Manning, yes, sir. When I joined the board here approximately four years ago, I I went out as a member of this committee over to Senate Delorama Road to address this situation because the people over there, several families, not all 19 homes, but several families asked for sewage, and I was told that because one house is behind the other, there's some kind of a property line issue that we didn't think this was going to happen. And you know, as far as all this legal jumbo, you know, I think a lot of this stuff could have been settled. Yeah, but was it with a clear mind? Okay, with a clear mind. Yeah, Mr. Manning has the floor. I got the floor, please. I think you know because, like I said at the last meeting, the only person that's making out on this deal, no reflection to you, Mr. Bonita, is you're going to win whether we win or lose. You know, and to to dot to strap the residents of Union Township. They they got a grant to finish Project One. Okay, they got a grant. Didn't raise the taxes one iota. Not one penny did they raise the taxes. Now, with Plan Two, we're going to be strapped with like a million dollars. I can't go back to the constituents of my, considering so many retired people live in Union Township. And what's this going to cost? Another twenty dollars a month or whatever? But Henry, when we had the mediation, we asked, we asked, you both sides checked the additional cost, and I don't know how the additional cost got to what you're saying because we checked with Brian and he's here tonight to speak, and and your your supervisors checked with your engineers, and we were told the additional cost was between one hundred and fifty and two hundred thousand. So how it got to a half a million dollars more, I have no idea. Well, they'll probably talk to the legal team too. Al, you sat in the in the Union Township meeting and said to the lawyer there, the Union Township lawyer, have you asked them? Have you told them that they're making out on this deal too? Oh, you absolutely. Think, you would think that they'd want to settle this as much as we would. Let me tell you one thing. But they're thing. not. Let me, let me tell you one thing. There's been a case going on over on Cardox Road for how many years now? And it's nothing to do with that. Let me finish, Tom. Please, would you please? I respect you. Why don't you respect me? Well, Mr. Brenning has the floor. Don't go bullying me. What I'm saying is, <coughs> legal fees are going through the roof. The, the legal okay. fees. But I know. But, hold on, Mr. Brenning has the floor. But when you consider the appeal after appeal after appeal after appeal on Cardox Road, okay, for a small amount of property, you got a you got a lawyer for the township, the same as you have a lawyer here for the sewer authority to protect our interests. Okay, they got to be paid. Uh, there's no, I mean, they go to school to become a lawyer. I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting, taking anything away from the lawyers, but the only ones that make out on these lengthy cases are the lawyers. But have you said that to your lawyer? Yes, yeah, so I've said it a dozen times. You ever come to our meeting? You'll hear me I've say it. I've never heard it on tape. I didn't know. Excuse me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The only, the only thing I want to say on lawyers' fees, you make a good point, but with this settlement, the lawyers' fees. From our end, or de minimis, because it's all engineering. I'm not, all I'm look, all I am reviewing is a, like a four or five page agreement. The rest of it's engineering, and and then if there's acquisitions or right aways, Mr. Sweat's got to do it. So the the lawyers' fees from from Peters Creek did not double the cost of option two. What I'm saying, Mr. Benito, mm -hmm. is I think we got some of the best engineers right now on our, on this board, far enough. Okay, and. 
I believe that the Harshman group is sporadic. They're, they're, they do a lot of projects around the county, so they've got to be pretty, pretty good. What I'm saying is, now we've got to start all over again. And you know yourself, you go to DEP, how long is it going to take them to, to look over this, check the plans, check the specs, and everything else? It's got to be a good year. Well, I think uh, Brian put into his schedule that it'd be about six months. And yeah. the cost is going to continue to rise, uh, uh, just like our gas price. Uh, yeah, it, it, but if, if we proceed with this, I would, I would want to go have an audience with the DEP to see if they could fast track it so it doesn't take six months. Yeah. At that, that point, point Mr. 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 Frank, I, I understand your comment about the clock being out of control, but I, I just ask is this a kind of rhetorical question? You know, the union has the perfect thing. Who's holding Union Township responsible? We're, we're in a meeting, something is said, and then one side goes back and says something totally different. Mm -hmm. Who gets a lot of the out of town over this? My other Whether question, it's a lawyer. question is related. Was, any, was there any mention of any financial contribution from Peter's Creek Sanitary Authority yes, to the Union Township? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. for yes. This when we tried to globally settle all three lawsuits, we, we, that was discussed. When, we decided, when, when Union Township didn't want to discuss the one lawsuit and only settled the two regarding Henry and Rama, then uh, uh, Union Township was very clear on their, their legal counsel that they did not want to own. Mm -hmm. They, they have plenty of money, they said. Mr. Lepore has the last word. I wish I could. Mr. Lepore has the last word.